Hi there, and welcome back to another Lazy Sunday flip through. So today is Sunday. The others went up yesterday, which was Saturday. But um, yeah, I have put them in the Lazy Lazy Sunday book club. So this is a book that I saw um, Tina from Shabby Dabby Dude use quite a while ago. Um, I think, oh, I bought it at the beginning of April. And it's fun. Thorburn's Birds, I purchased it for £5.12 with £2.79 postage, so that made it about £8. Uh, it's got 184 pages, uh, it's published by Ebury Press and it was first published 1st of January 1972. So... Let's have a look at size. So it's ten, just over ten and a quarter by seven and three quarters. So nice uh, book size. We've just got a red cover. That's very nice. Okay. So Archibald Thornburn and he died in 1935, is now recognised as an outstanding illustrator of animals and in particular of birds of Western Europe. His four volume British birds, so I'd say this four lots of this, was first published in 1915 to 1916. And it's, it's now a collector's piece. Oh right, so we did four volumes and then in this new single volume edition, 82 magnificent watercolour plates which are high for scientific accuracy and exactness of detail. 400, over 400 species and this new text version concentrates on talking more about the nature and um and things and the bird is studied in england wales scotland and ireland so i i only have had a little peep at this this book so um the light so i think we're in really thick thick pages so you know even these would be great for, for collaging on especially those ones where you stick stick them together this would be perfect so it looks like we start off with duck type things so these are divers or loons lovely i love the plate color around it the gray it's very nice very nice colors very soft subtle colors so it obviously starts off with like more sea type type birds herons Seabirds. Go on to hawks and eagles. These in the snow. Let's <laughs> go. 
got a funny face. Golden eagle. Oh dear, it's got a pot bunny rabbit. Vultures. More eagles. Falcons. Pages are very, very nice. Pheasants. Busted. Laura Varys bought the different plates together just to, you know, create create one. Very, very clever. Goals. Lots of goals, isn't there? You don't realise how many seagulls there are. When we went to Devon, the seagulls was absolutely enormous. I don't think I've ever seen such big seagulls. Colin was afraid. So owls, oh, beautiful eagle owl, night jars. Locks. Wagtails and what are they? Pip pipis. I don't know if that's how you say it. Wagtails. Oh, I love the wagtails. Oh, the tits. I do love the tits. Long tailed tits. Great tit, cold tit, bearded tit, encrusted, and blue tit. Beautiful. The nut hatches. Oh, thrushes. Which are getting very, very rare. I can't remember the last time I even saw one. I used to see them quite regular at one time. Yeah, they are getting very, very rare. Look at that, the missile thrush. I think that's the one that's got the real, you know, dark uh, spots. More thrushes, I didn't realise there was quite as many. One of them got the, the blackbird. These are beautiful birds. Oh, the stone chap. the blue throat. Robin. Warblers. White throats. Oh, and then black cap. Guessing, is that the black cap or is that the black cap? I think that one. 
yeah beautiful images and say with this book obviously you could fussy cut them out because small images are, are really hard to to come by so you know you could cut all these out if you wanted um i know when tina did her she did a lot of ripping uh rounds um traveler's notebook kind of size and obviously you can make all little folios and um pockets and and things like like that so definitely gonna get some book pages out and we'll do some um projects with some um book pages um picture book pages <clears throat> My favourite, Goldfinch. Chaffinches. And sparrows. I don't know what this is. Bramlin. Oh. Yeah, I've never seen a Bramlin. Very beautiful. Greys and, and yellows. There's reds on here. Bumptons. We'll go on to starlings and the jay. <clears throat> I've only ever seen one jay. <clears throat> I never realised how big they was until till I saw one. Uh, yeah, they're enormous. Probably like, yeah, I suppose that's why they're in with like the starlings and, and things. Because, yeah, they, they're very, very big. The magpie and jackdaw and raven. Oh, these are lovely. Warblers. Pine bunting. Oh. Little wren. Not seen a wren for years. Mm. I think that could be... That could be it. So yeah, obviously there's a lot, a lot of ducks and and things, but um, yeah, there's not actually that many. What I would call, you know, like you you garden bird type things, but there's still plenty, and they're absolutely beautiful. And say so the colour is beautiful, and the quality of paper is is great, and also you're not using um you know you're not wasting another side sewn in so it'd be easy to to take apart so that is is that one let's see if we can find a um oh. no i don't think there's any any um is be a number so no so that is that so thank you for joining me and i shall see you later on for another flip through a book bye for now